Hey there, it's the Latvian language teacher Ilze B here. It's day six of my Latvian verb challenge of November 2018. Do you remember what sentence I concluded the previous video with? It was meklējot zeķi es atradu atslēgu. I started it with the sentence meklējot zeķi viņa atrada atslēgu. Viņa is she and the word atrada means found and atrada has the ending a which is harmonized for the third person pronoun viņa. But in the last sentence the verb atradu has the ending u that you already know and it is the ending that is adjusted for the first person pronoun s meklējot zeķi es atradu atslēgu. And today I'll start with the verb atradu. I'd like to analyze this verb because I need to tell you about the first conjugation verbs. And this verb belongs to the first conjugation. How do I know that? Well, I look at the verb's parts. Remember I told you that you need to look at verb's parts in order to tell what conjugation the verb belongs to. So let's focus on the verb atradu. We see that there is the ending u that you already know, but there are two more syllables, atrad. And the first syllable is a prefix. So we have three parts. We have the prefix at, we have the ending u, and in the middle, that's the root of the verb. And there are no suffixes. So, because there are no suffixes and the root has only one syllable, I can tell that this verb belongs to the first conjugation. So, if you wanted to analyze another verb, how would you know if that verb has a prefix? Don't worry, I have you covered. I have a list of all prefixes a Latvian verb can have. Just one thing before I show you that list, I need to tell you that Latvian verbs can only have one prefix, except there can be the prefix ne in front of another prefix. But now the list of prefixes. The first one is the one that I already told you about. It's the prefix ne. It changes the verb's meaning to the opposite. Second, there is a prefix eyes. Then there is a prefix up, a prefix at, a prefix e, a prefix is, a prefix no, a prefix pa, a prefix par, a prefix pie, a prefix sa, and the prefix os. The first conjugation verbs are not easy, and that's why I put them at the end of this challenge. They are like those English verbs where you need to know how the verb changes from the past into the present, and in English there is also that past participle. For instance, think of the verb ring. So what would be those forms is ring, rang, rung. Or think of the verb sing. The forms would be sing, sang, sung. That's in the English language. So the same thing happens in Latvian. The root can change a vowel. So what do you do about that? Can you know how to change it? Are there rules? Well, in fact, there are rules, but they are too complicated. And I have another solution. I think the best way to start learning those Latvian verbs is by learning pairs of verbs that rhyme. And I have prepared a worksheet where I have such pairs of verbs that rhyme. And I'll give you a sneak peek from my notes that you can download and you'll see some pairs of such rhyming Latvian verbs. And I'll only read the Latvian. I will not read the English translations. Number one. Raut, ļaut, rāvu, ļāvu, rauju, ļauju, raušu, ļaušu. Number two. Spiest, 
sviest, spiedu, sviedu, spiežu, sviežu, spiedīšu, sviedīšu. Number three. Kārt, bārt, kāru, bāru, karu, baru, kāršu, bāršu. Number four. Rakt, smakt, raku, smaku, roku, smoku, rakšu, smakšu. And number five. Braukt, saukt, braucu, saucu, braucu, saucu, braukšu, saukšu. And that's it for today. I hope I made some sense and you've got new useful information, but don't forget to download the note sheet. I have even more useful information in it. Now I'll say bye-bye, ata, till tomorrow.